Star Fox turns 30 this month, and it's not getting any younger. Rendering polygons on a system like the SNES might have been revolutionary for its time, but Star Fox hasn't aged well. 15 frames per second was barely tolerable, and compared to what we have today, it's downright unacceptable. So let's fire up the afterburners and celebrate with some speed. Today we'll be looking at some ROM hacks that open the throttle for 30 and even 60 frames per second, for better or for worse. None of this would even be possible if not for the efforts of a talented ROM hacker who goes by the name of Kando. You might know him as the author of the Star Fox Exploration Showcase, or Star Fox EX, a very elaborate ROM hack that adds all kinds of different ways to modify the game. You want a co-pilot? You got it. You want infinite barrel rolls? Sure, who doesn't? You want God Mode, Hard Mode, Pepper Skip, Super Scope, Bouncy Death, and Custom Ships? It's all yours and more. But Kando also made a few patches for the original game that increase its frame rate to something more tolerable. This doesn't come without a trade-off, but we'll get to that. For now, let's look at some comparisons. Here's a comparison of the original gameplay on the left, with the 30 frames per second patch on the right. I found it plays pretty close to the original, but a little smoother and feels more responsive. Now let's compare that to the 60 frames per second patch. This version is fast. It's like the supersonic experience that Star Fox was meant to be. Now, like I mentioned, there are some flaws, but before we start getting into the details, here's another few comparisons, starting with the original. These patches are all playable to some degree, but they aren't perfect. Some of the game logic is tied to how quickly the game runs, so things tend to break with the increased speed. For example, the boost meter refills super fast, so you can just lean on that throttle. Or in this example, on the 30 frames per second patch, the boss just doesn't want to stick around. Also, doing barrel rolls and launching bombs sometimes feels unresponsive, especially at 60 FPS. Not only that, but the increased speed makes some levels ludicrously hard. I couldn't get far on course 3, but it might just be a skill issue. Despite the improved frame rate, controlling the R-Wing feels a little sluggish. This is especially noticeable with the 60 FPS patch. It has this strange, slow, lurching motion, so not only are the levels going faster, but you're less maneuverable. I did come across a variant of the 60 FPS patch that runs a little better, but still slower than the original game seen here on the left. Of course, I wasn't expecting a perfect experience, and I'm nitpicking simply for comparison's sake. I did beat the game on 60 FPS and had an absolute blast. 
I'm sure there's only so much that can be done to bring a 30-year-old game like Star Fox up to a polished modern-day experience, and Kando basically pulled off the impossible to bring it this far. So if you're a Star Fox fan and you've been wanting to revisit this classic, then I would definitely recommend checking out these patches. While you're at it, check out Star Fox EX for what's honestly one of the greatest things to happen to Star Fox in years. The rest of the video is going to show you how to play this for yourself. There will also be a fun little bonus at the end showing off one of my own Star Fox projects. We'll start on Kando's Twitter page. Wait a minute. I've been pronouncing that wrong this whole video. It's can do. Let's take a look at can do's Twitter page. It has links to the ROM patches and the Discord group. All of these links can also be found in the video description. To begin with, we'll need an emulator. There's instructions for a number of popular emulators, but SNES 9X Neo is the one that's recommended. It can be found here under the Other Downloads section. Once you have the emulator downloaded and extracted, just run it. Then go to Emulation, Hacks, and click OK because we know what we're doing. It's recommended to change the Super FX clock speed percentage to 10,000, and under CPU Overclock, select Ultra. Okay, now that our emulator is set up, we need something to play. Head over to romhacking.net and download the FPS patch. Just extract them and you'll see that there's a few different patches to choose from, but our focus is on the SF20 FPS 30 and 60 versions. The last step is to patch these onto your Star Fox ROM by using this program called Flips. Download it, run it, and select Apply Patch. Select one of the patches, then it will ask you what ROM you want to patch. Just select your legally acquired Star Fox ROM, and by the way it has to be the USA Revision 2 version. Then just press Save, and there you have it. From here you can do the process again with a different version of the patch. Well, that about wraps things up. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you still don't have enough Star Fox in your life, check out this build video of my custom Arwing model. Happy gaming, and thanks for watching.